Hey mom, when I was asked to prepare a little message for you, um, I felt myself getting deeply overwhelmed with emotion because I haven't been the most uh, emotionally available person and uh, certainly not as a son. Uh, that's because I learned to be strong from you. Every bit of strength that I have and every bit of will to work and succeed and provide for my family is something that I learned from you. And you, being not just my mother and not just a mother to my siblings, but a mother figure to so many of the children that you taught at Palmerston and so many of the children that you fed in Slumkop and so many of the church children that have come through and been taught by your hand and the blinking people who love you so much all know what I'm speaking about. And just the happiness and joy that it is to be around you is a gift to us all. It certainly has been a gift to me and to my children as they get the pleasure of spending time with you and growing up, having you around. Now, it's just circumstances and unfortunate that they don't get to see you every day, but I think that that makes every other moment so much more special. It makes every other moment so much more endearing that the little time we do get to spend with you is soaked up with joy, happiness, laughter and love. You are everything to me. And being the oldest mother in your church, <laughs> I'm sure you are everything to them. And that they hold you in a special place in their hearts, just like I hold you special in a place in my heart. I cannot repay you for what you've done in my life. But I can tell you that I love you. I love you so much. <laughs>